Hello everyone, my name is Overing, and we're guys today some more Let's Play Milky Rising Revengeance. Now we're we'll starting off this episode real quick by saying, first this is Paul's commentary, second of all, if you go right behind you during the, your starting position, you will have the ability to gain the arm mission number 19. Now why is this pre-recorded and why do you... Uh, everything looks different, jaggy, a little more bright or something like that. It's due to the fact that some of the files that I did was corrupted, so I need to do a post run of this place. Does that mean that there's gonna be missing parts of the story? Absolutely not. How dare would I ever do that to you guys? But that does mean... <coughs> that, that does mean that's it. God, that was gross. But that does mean that parts of this thing is gonna go much much faster than usual. So here you go, just get on with this shit and kill as many people as you want. There's some items left and right, but that's not the case. As you can see, I'm a bit of a badass here. Let's let's get moving, shall we? I said, shall we? Wait, where's the? Oh, there we go. You see that? Their exit codes show up as unaffiliated. Wait, Marshall has the security contract for this base. Why would they have their cyborg set to the same illegal exit code as Desperado? It's evidence against them. No, it's their alibi. They're making it look like Desperado hacked their soldiers on site because everyone knows Desperado has a contract with... The Pakistani rebels. Oh, but if we go public with the desperado Marshall connection... Won't matter. Not when they've got this nice big foreign threat all cooked up and ready to serve. The media and the public won't be able to resist. Remember WMDs in Iraq? Damn it, you're right. It's another slam dunk. What about any humans on the base? Marshall only handled security. Dead, most likely. Or brain jacked, if they needed them to keep up appearances. Huh. They'd never publicize what airport the president was flying into. Not in this region. And almost no one would have access to an outside line for security reasons. It wouldn't be difficult to keep things hush-hush. At least until Air Force One arrives. I'm heading for the control tower. If I can destroy the antenna array, the US military will know something's wrong. Good idea. Be careful. Sam's gone, and I blew the winds of destruction away. I'll be fine. Courtney, god damn it, Courtney's got some big boobs. How is she able to keep them uptight? How is she able to make them uh, such uptight? Uh, maybe her skirt is so fucking tight that it, it enables her to like keep up tight I, I don't fucking know now getting into this base you will see that chapter 8 is fairly very small which you, you know unlike the bullshit we went through in chapter 3 and 4 respectively this is so fucking refreshing and like I said I think that um I think that later chapters are so so refreshing just because they're they aren't long at all they can be passed through pretty easily and there's got some key cast fight too and they're fairly challenging too so uh, in this place you got a hammer guy and everything Th that's not what I want to focus on if you uh, from the left of right in like right here uh, there's like this kind of roof if you go up there I do believe you get a black box with the last endurance uh, uh, upgrade in the game so with that you should get to 200% if you didn't miss like the black box that I was supposed to have in the f in one of the parts but I didn't get it because I had a corrupted safe file and it restarted the fucking level and I think you get the idea here but I'm still pissed off about this shit I'm not letting go of this <laughs> I hate the fact that I needed to do it again. I mean, that just... You don't do that, man. Uh, chapter in itself, it's its a relatively easy chapter, not gonna lie. If you do... Like, there's no bullshit combination amount of enemies. Uh, like, there's one space, which is right here, where it can be a little bit difficult. Uh, just because there's a lot of hammer guys, but... They're pretty spaced out, so you might have a chance to like deal with them before they even get a chance to get to you. So, and so I don't think it's that bad of a place, honestly. It, there's no bullshit amount of combination of enemies. It's not particularly difficult. 
It's just a normal chapter. I feel like this could have been like uh, chapter 7, chapter 6, but it ain't. So, this is chapter 8. You gotta deal with this shit now. And it's relatively easy. Oh man. Man, I did bad. I had an upgraded weapon that kills literally everything on screen and I couldn't get fucking fucks out of there. Weirdly enough. Have you guys ever seen an all ass rank of Revengeance um, uh, difficulty in this game? Because this shit is kind of impressive. Like, if you ever go and see of uh, S rank Revengeance difficulty uh, run, my god, you will. You, you will feel like a sore loser for being so bad at this game. And the fact of the matter is, this game is... If you don't know how to deal with certain types of enemies, if it's your first time playthrough, this game is relatively hard. Like, you will get your hands handed to you if you don't know how to use the mechanics, the combo systems, and the parry system especially. But if you know how to deal with, uh, deal with all of this, then... You know, it's not that bad until you get to the hard and very hard difficulty. And even then, enemies get new patterns, there's new types of enemies everywhere, they lay out changes and stuff like this, and then you get revenge, which is just, my god. Uh, by the way, there's a VR mission to the right of the airport uh, hangar, uh, which is VR mission number 10. I got it off screen because data corruption, my god, I had the balls just of time making this fucking let's play. I don't know why, but I had the worst time in this Let's Play, if only for the fact that I don't know how or why, but I got a lot of data corruption, and most of you guys don't even know, but almost each and every episode, each and every chapter, I had to record twice, just to be sure of data corruption or audio delay or uh, non audio audio from the game not appearing at all and you'll see parts of it in the next part but it's not that bad all right i'm a killing you foes flipping kicking f oh god that is one glitchy ass that is one glitchy ass thing and lag yeah if you run this game on your computer you better have one hell of a graphic card because this game does run a does render a lot of things at once and you need to be prepared for that God damn it, just kill this fool. Kill him! Oh, come on. Come on past me. Why are you so sucky? Yeah, these guys, like I said, they're kind of annoying just because you need to do your three perfect counters if you don't know, actually. Uh, I don't know. I don't got much to say. By the way, there's a man in box right in front of me where the containers are. Go there if you actually care about it. And that ain't me. Now let's prepare ourselves. Yeah, below us are amazing for what's coming up. Wolf. Jack. 
just a little too late. As usual. I'm strong. Impressive little toy you've got there. But your plan ends here. <laughs> Idiot. You're not ending our plan. You're expanding it. Kick the internet lately. <laughs> Ryder, Air Force One is turning back to the States. What? How'd they know? Someone posted photos of what's happening on the base. The whole world is up in arms. Show me. How did they... Story leaked early. Then Marshall's plan is ruined. The hell it is. Look what they're saying. The story just went live, and already they're calling for blood. But the president was saved. And yet American blood was spilled. By Americans. Besides, a few dozen soldiers is tragic. But nothing to start a major war over. That's just a spark, son. The excuse we've been waiting for. America's wanted this war for years. The Patriots, they knew war was good for the economy. Four years later, their legacy lingers on. The memes. They left us their great isms. Nationalism. Unilateralism. Materialism. Welcome maxims for those with no faith without guiding principles of their own. Give yourself up to the whole. No need to better yourself. You're American. You're number one. Then the only value left is dollar value. The economy. So we'll do whatever it takes to keep it humming along. Even war. Especially war. Bullshit! The Patriots planted the seed. We don't need them around to filter and foster their memes any longer. We're spreading them just fine ourselves. Every American man, woman, and child. We're all sons of the Patriots now! <sighs> we just need something to jumpstart the economy out of this funk. This recession has been stuck in since the fall of SOP. <laughs> and the military costs? Wasting billions is going to help the economy? PMCs, arms manufacturers, job creators, Jack. All those workers spending money, paying taxes. Trust me, a little war can work wonders. So grease the gears with some innocent blood, is that it? Oh, relax, Jack. It's a war on terror. We're not out to kill civilians. Extremists, lawless gangs, madmen. <sighs> of course, that would have to include you. Wouldn't want any eyewitness reports complicating the message! This everyone is Metal Gear Exilis. Or Exilis? X X I believe it's Exilis. Now this fight is uh both amazing and horrible at the same time. It's definitely one of the weaker fights in the entire game, uh, if only for the fact that it's so fucking slow. It's one of those fights where you have to wait for the boss to attack you before you may have a chance to attack him afterwards. Now the thing is, if you try to actually block his blaze attack right here, uh, you will gain damage. Like, you, you know, you'll be able to take the pain much better if you just took the damage overall, but you ain't, you know, 
you won't be doing this good, you know. What I'm trying to say here is, you won't be making, you know, you still take damage, and that's bad. That's what I'm trying to say. Now, if you want to break this fight entirely, you use the blood loss because, out of certain, after a certain amount of health is drained from this boss, what he'll try to do is, he'll try to. Uh, uh, he'll try to attack him from there, you can activate his identity chain just like that, cutting one of his legs off, being an absolute badass, and killing the rest of it. Run, uh, once you actually take care of the first leg, what I recommend, use a Blawless right here, and if you can, after a certain amount of damage, get on top of him. Because if you do that, you're able to actually dish a lot more damage and actually get into the second phase of the boss fight, only because you're on top of him, and that's amazing. So, there, it's a bit of a glitch too, but you know, get it at times. Uh, after the, you take out his legs and goes down and everything like that, it activates what I like to call his laser phase. Uh, from there, just just run around, don't care about actually getting to the geckos, because they're just gonna be geckos all the fucking time. So, what I recommend, just run around, avoid the laser, make sure the geckos are caught in the laser because it's an insta kill for them, so right there, one of them died. Of course, there's a little period of time where the gecko spawn is in that which can be a bit annoying. Don't do what I did here, I felt a bit, a bit too reckless. So yeah, just don't do that now, will ya? Of course, if you need to rebuild a shell, they're good. They're good options, especially when they're dying because they're a bit in a stun phase, which allow you to actually, you know, get away with it. So my problem is, if you don't have the blood loss, like this fight takes a long time because the only way to deal damage before he moves his foot, which is a few cycles, uh, which is like a, a solid minute before he actually drags his foot over, so you can actually damage him. The only way you can deal damage is with uh, is with the blades, and the blades don't stay up for a long time, so in damage your normal sword and combination of light and strong attacks ain't the best way to cut it. And as I'm showing here, you take you take chip damage every time. Like it's not that much, but saying it you're at 25% and is you don't have any nano pace because you you weren't looking at it correctly and you might just die because of a stupid mistake like this. So be sure, you know. Be sure, be, be sure to be sure. At this point, I believe it's at 30%. Uh, the health pool is enough drain to the fact that it can use I dance you. From there, that's the end of the boss fight, and one hell of a satisfying way to do it. Well, it's not the end of the boss fight because we're still going, but you know what I mean. Links of Gears list, it's, it's a fine boss fight. The, the music, again, fucking phenomenal. But as a boss fight, just a bit too slow for my. Especially after the awesomeness that was. Seen.